Hey guys, it's the Mr. Fire's Dad back again. Today we're going to go over how to disappear cards. This one is really cool. Card move. Please, sub if you're new to the channel. Drop a like, drop a comment. Love you guys. What's going on everybody? I'm the Mr. Fire and a uh, really cool introduction. Hopefully you guys love that. It's really fun. And uh, basically we're going to be teaching you guys the unique method and the unique principle on how to make it appear as if you have disappeared and uh, made cards uh, vanish from the deck. So I literally have done this effect over a million times, and I actually performed it actually tonight. I went to my friend Jerry's house, did some magic to his grandmother, and did this trick, and she literally had a conniption. It was wonderful. So I like to show you my version on this and my little take on it. I go it, I go with it as it's an optical illusion, as if you've never ever seen your card in the deck. And then as if magic, your card actually just disappears. So if anybody select any card in the pack, I'll just share it with you. Um, they'll look at the card, and then I'll, we'll lose the card about middle of the pack here. And say, we always do magic with the cards face down. Let's try with the cards face up. Show the cards face up, and you have them um, try to look for their card. And they will not find their card here. Uh, please take my word for it, because uh, that's the, the idea here. And then you keep dealing... And you keep telling them to please stop me if you do see your card. And you will not see your card because your card has 110% literally disappeared. And it was all an optical illusion. And it's just so mind-boggling to the brain. And then you can have the card be uh, found in multiple ways. Uh, I just pulled the card out of my pocket, but on the camera, I'll just pop it out. And then that's one card and one card only. Your card, the three uh, diamonds really fun effect and it gets great reactions let's learn how this one works All right, guys so let's learn how this one works it's really easy and the uh, explanation shouldn't take us that long to go over so basically what we're gonna have uh, have is someone select a card and look at the card and the card is then going to be lost into the middle of the pack uh, convincingly and then it really is just gonna be controlled to the top of the pack here so you can control the card to the deck in your favorite manner once the card is controlled to the top of the deck, here's where the magic kicks in. We're going to push over and get a break on the card. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double undercut the cards in a certain way. So we're going to take some of the cards, put them on top and turn them face up. Take the rest of the cards, put them on the top face up. This is going to do one thing. It's going to reverse one card and keep it face down on the bottom of the deck while the whole deck just flips facing up. It's a single card turnover pass, I believe, and it actually uh, is really cool if you think about it. So now, let's try this again. We'll have anybody select a card. Um, in this case, we'll just use this card over here, the King of Diamonds. Uh, have the card uh, looked at and shown to uh, as many people or as few people as you would like. And have the card placed in uh, about middle of the pack and control it back to the top in any method you prefer. Now, once it's on top of the pack here, again, get your break. Uh, clip the deck here, and you're going to take cards from the bottom, turn them face up, maintaining the break, get the rest of the cards on the bottom, and turn them face up. Now what you're going to do is deal through the cards, and as you deal through the cards, their card won't be here. Now what you do is take the cards, turn them face down, put them on the bottom. Keep dealing, keep dealing, keep dealing, and then you will ultimately get to the last card here, and you will see that the card isn't in the deck and then you're done and then the most amazing part about this is that when you're done dealing the card returns back in its original position to the top of the deck but no one suspects anything and no one is to suspect if you're feeling guilty I would like to do a, 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 a pinky pull down on two cards show the whole deck and I swear to God on my grandfather I swear to God I'm not even if I if I'm lying I would never do YouTube again because I'm not lying I never ever have to show it because that's overproving to yourself, not even to them. That's just for you. Then, what you could do with, uh, if you want, you could uh, show the deck, hand it out, and then uh, palm the cut off into your pocket and pull it out and say, boom, that's one. Um, if you want another one, you could do, you can actually uh, just do the uh, pop out move by Chris Ramsey that I taught on my channel. Um, it's a really cool trick. It's not by Chris Ramsey, he just popularized it. It's actually by a man named Jack Carpenter. A really fun effect. I, I uh, highly doubt you try to perform it and learn it on my channel. Please uh, check that out. 
And uh, that's really about it, guys. So thank you all for the love and support. I am the Mr. Fire. Thank you all, guys. I love you so much. If you're not already subscribed and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the Mr. Fire family and become a part of the Mr. Fire family. I swear to God, you won't uh, regret it. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun getting to know you and welcoming you into the channel. Thank you, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. You have just been mystified.